Carolyn, uh, in the short time you've been here, have you met a man of your dreams? Met a man of my dreams? Yeah. I'm married to him. Are you married? Yeah. How long have you been married? 20 years. 20? Uh huh. Well, there's no sense in getting out now. <laughs> I always tell people if it's seven or eight, get out now and try oh, yeah. it again and yeah. find someone new after to play 20, with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, after 20, it's it's a disease that doesn't go away, you know. <laughs> it's, yeah, I've been married 55. You have? Yeah, people say, is that, that's wonderful, and I said, you try it. <laughs> yeah. Careful, red light zone. Red light zone. The one-man theatrical troupe, Jonathan Winters, has been in more than 15 movies a string of TV shows, and is the voice behind many cartoons. He's also written several books and has expressed his talent as a painter. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Good oh, to see you. Well, morning, good to see Pleasure you. Pleasure to have you here. Gosh, uh, a thorn between two roses. <laughs> That's kind of a twist. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I didn't mean to touch you, but it did something for me in my hand. to play for you now an old tune that I played when I was in Vienna. It's called Und steil über alte Kühne, nach Diener über Arne, which means along the river we go. <laughs> Imagine what I could do if I had the other part. Doctor, I'm not kidding. I seen them Beatles and this is one of their failures. <laughs> Start the oven route. <laughs> the United Nations now recognizes the delegate from Nasserland. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm sitting in a cafe in Montecito, which is near Santa Barbara, and uh, <clears throat> Jonathan Winters walks out of a cafe. He sat down and talked with us for an hour and a half. And for the first half hour, we were screaming with laughter. After about 45 minutes, I wanted him to stop because I, you know, it was starting to hurt. After an hour and a half, I thought maybe he's certifiably crazy. And then I realized he's really a genius. And I asked him if I could make a documentary about his art show. They're going to know it's Jonathan Winters two ways, of course. By the text here, and then, which is going to be no mistake, that when they walk in, we'll have a photograph, a three by four foot photograph here. Uh, what is he really like? You'll never know. My folks didn't know. I don't understand the boy. <laughs> I put him away when they were 40. That's a wonderful piece. Yeah, I got lucky with that. Called the Thoughts of a Metador because it is surrealistic. This is the rabbit because the rabbit has to deal with the Matador. He's he's a fast living guy, not only in the ring but out more so out of the ring. Thoughts of a Hollywood actor drowning in his pool. The rainbow <clears throat> represents the hope of all actors. The coldness of of the world of entertainment, the rats in the business, black and white rats, the, the fence, which you, you fence yourself in or fence yourself out. He puts these hangers there, which represent hangups, and you'll see it in a lot of his work. When you sit down, mm -hmm. 
What's the first thing you do? Do you clean your brushes or, I mean, how do you actually Well, the first start? thing when I sit down, I cut one. You understand? Fart. Just to get the cushion rearranged. Everybody wants Robin. You know? I feel like his agent. Now listen. If you, if you could get Robin for the picture, geez, we can do it. If you can get Robin for, to go in the gas station, you can get gas forever. If you can get Robin to come in the gallery, we've got a documentary. Forget winners, the old man. That old fart. How about the kid? What? Well, the kid. Stay on the kid. Here we are. This is Robin. For those who have not seen some of John's work, we're going to show you. Just like we're going to pretend we're on a children's show. Yes, boys Look. and girls. Pay, pay attention, boys and girls, please. Now, a lot of people would say that's a Rorschach. Is it? What do you see? Do you see a mask? Or do you see a rainbow vagina? That could be a name of a band. A great lesbian band, Rainbow Vagina. Let's look again. It says Kamikaze. And for those who know John's history, that means a lot. That's right. He had to shoot them down or they would have gotten him. That's why every December 7th, he looks for Japanese gardeners and just makes loud noises. I hope that my paintings, well, all of my paintings, will eventually hang in the Museum of Modern Art. Why do you want your paintings to hang? Well, I don't want, I don't want them to hang just on the highway. You know, that doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? 101 or just some kind of a state fair next to a huge Belgian bunny. No, I want it in a place of prominence. They don't have to go to France because uh, the people there probably too busy drinking wine on the Champs-Élysées and trying to score with some guy that looks like a woman. Um, at any rate, uh, I want them in the museum. You ask me, that's, that's it. That's important to me. Here, Saying goodbye to my children of, of canvas. How do you feel about that? Depressed. But, of course, the minute, that's the story of the manic depressive. He's depressed when he sees the children being put in an expensive car, taken to a gallery. But if we get the right money, then... Boom, you see, the depression goes. And the manic, whew, you soar, you see, right to the bank. The time in the hospital, uh, which cost me eight months to get my gourd straightened out, I didn't paint much. I didn't want to paint, I wasn't motivated to paint. I think I had, I painted a handful of things, sketches, which were a little far out and may have cost me an extra three months. Fifth month, the guy scared the crap out of me because he said, I'm talking with Mrs. Winters, that's all he had to say. And we've come to the conclusion that we, we have to give you shock treatment. And I asked him this, what are you racing? Four to eight, eight to 12, 12 to 17, 17 to 20. What are you racing? Well, we don't know, but we've got to erase some of that pain. So in other words, you're gambling. Mrs. Winters, quote, please stay in through the holidays You've made some beautiful things in therapy. She said that. Make some more belts. Little purses. Come on, stay in over Christmas. Are you in over Christmas? <laughs> Man with two women. Uh, two women. I remember you were Mormon. <laughs> How are things going? Well, this just was a, a, a wonderful mistake, you know. I was dropping my daughter off somewhere. Hey. This is my daughter, Jenny. I'd come on to you, but I'm no good. I'm your dance here, and he won't go for that. Where are you from? Uh, I know Canada. Canada. Uh, Ottawa? Yeah. Toronto. Toronto. Yeah. CBC. She's the only reason I can stay, really. Oh, God. <laughs> I can stay. Oh, uh, God. you got to have a sense of humor. You know, i got to get one of those. If you, well. They're available. <laughs> Okinawa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a wonderful man and uh, is nice to animals and small children. That's why I like him. There goes the king. The king. I you, love you, you were the second city before the second I city. I wanted was. to be in second city. But my city college intellectual friend, all of they, 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 they got into you around the same time as the Marx Brothers, oh, Laurel and yeah. Hardy, Chaplin. Yeah. And we, had a, we gobbled up your albums. And it caught on like you were the thing, and we looked for you. We told each other when you were on television, and we never missed you. Did you ever undress in front of a dog? Uh, I'll tell you. You think about that for a minute. 
I don't know. People, you know, it's funny. A, a bird, uh, a bird somehow doesn't count, right? <laughs> or a cat. But a dog, they really stare. <laughs> I, I was just come out of the shower, and here was my dog. Just... <laughs> you know they can't talk, right? That's the way they look at you, that. Almost 80 years of age, Mr. Winters has walked into the sunset. He's now a living watercolor. Hi. Bye-bye for now. How'd the show go, Jonathan? Oh, okay. Did you sell anything? No, we had a lot of... A lot of money was put down, but then they came back and picked it up. Hey, was he putting me on? I can tell what. Was it Kenny? <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, that was a squirrel. Now, that's a little sound effect that I used. Here, here's the, here's the thing. There's always somebody bigger than you, hopefully, and more in charge. Always somebody wealthier. All you can hope is that they die and leave you a tremendous amount of money. People say, would that make you happier? It would make it easier for me. Let's say it. I'd know what to do with it. I'd build a hospital, put myself in it, and play doctor and patient. I would keep myself there an hour, maybe a year. I'd play nurse. People called and called me gay. I could be a nurse. How are you? Let me give you a shot of polonazine, OK? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Sit up. Oh, wow, what's happening with you? <laughs> You're excited. We're going to have to cut that out. Would you like a brisk? There, see the it's pony the crying, horse. and the little horse crying. There's, and the doves are all landed there, and there's an orange. Even Freud is going, Phew. I have not a clue what the orange means. What should Jonathan be doing to hang in the Museum of Modern Art? Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending upon your uh, point of view, he, there's nothing he can do himself. How old is Jonathan Winters? He's 78. That's not simple, later on in life, to advance your career. Now, I see some works in this book here by Jonathan, which are equal to or superior to some of the works presently being exhibited at the Museum of Modern Art. Really? Absolutely. Now, that would be encouraging. I say that with great sincerity. It's very hard to get into the art world, to get known and to become famous. Half, half of it is having talent, the other half is selling it. I don't think being a famous comedian is going to help him in the fine art world. I don't think he'll be taken as seriously. Although when people look at the paintings, they should take him seriously. Unique, powerful, he brings a whole set of assets to the table. I'm Henry Emerson Wilford, a critic from London, and I'm supposed to critique his paintings, which are childlike, but I shall do the best I can because they paid for me. I, I came over air cargo. When I give the key to the city, in all sincerity, it's like giving a little piece of our heart as Las Vegans to somebody who is very, very special. Um, when you look at the key, think of the way we, who are Las Vegans, feel about you. We admire you. We, we thank you for uh, all that you have done for our community and uh, making it great and continue to make it great. And, could, excuse uh, me. Uh, what does that open? <laughs> So, so what, are, what are your expectations for the show? What do you think you're going to do? Oh, free dinner beforehand, hors d'oeuvres during the show, a lot of staring. It is you. What are you doing in Vegas? Well, I'm having a show, and this is it. Is that right? Are you appearing here? I'm appearing here in the gallery. No, no, no. I mean, are you in a nightclub? No, I've done that. I don't want to do that anymore. The most important thing I want to hear is, boy, listen, this guy's got a style, and it's interesting. Um, uh, I've never seen uh, any guy paint exactly like this. Same thing said about your comedy. If you say, you know, this guy, he's a funny man, but I tell you, he's all by himself there. You've been married for how long? 
55 years. To the same woman? To the same woman? I hope so. <laughs> what must she I always be like? put a different what face on it. What must she be it. like to, 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 to be with someone like well, you? Well, she's not with me now. That's the one person that's not. Uh, she's a wonderful gal. She's, uh, she's old. Uh, oh, and so am I. Hey, I'm 78, you know, and uh, people say, you know, uh, you know, you don't look at the, the people that say that feel your face, you know. Uh, but uh, at any rate, I, I always say, look, um, you know, women are always supposedly very sensitive about their ages. Never ask a woman, unless, you know, it's a... Uh, 45. Are you 45? I'm dying to know. Are you 45? Well, yeah. yeah. You're kidding. 45 and a 34C. Are you... <laughs> All right. Next question. Uh, are you married, are you? Uh, several times. Several times. Not yeah. currently. Not currently, Not though. Currently. So I'm oh. available for a red-hot affair if you're interested. This is Sin City. <laughs> You know, there have been a few times in my life that I've just stopped my dialogue right away. You don't know it right now, but I'm having a fantasy that would drive you crazy. <laughs> Boy, there's a lot of stuff here. See, my, my chief argument is there's so much going on. They, they, my art is lost. Yes. It's lost. Yes. Please, Jonathan, I want to see my think wife. Think about your future, Jonathan. I'm thinking about it, think boy. About so it. far, it's in the toilet. Whew. I mustn't be harsh. Look at this fake piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Don't Jonathan, put that on film. Jonathan, I want to point out to you what? that what this it? whole party out there is for you. Oh, Jesus. This is the opening of Jonathan Wind. No, Don't do this no, to me. It, it, yeah. yeah. This You're is so the opening of your... Hey, listen, show. please, don't. I'll do anything. Please, almost. I'll do the bed scene for an hour. I don't want to have lunch with that woman, a sister with the funny eyes, and the fake hair, and the guy. Jonathan, I'm telling you, if we have breakfast... Well, you stay with him. Morning. Let us drive back. I'll go back with Andrew. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hi. The way they hung it is a disaster. Yes, come on. Well, the stuff, the artwork's a disaster. If they darken all the stuff If you see a lot of wood on the wall and put a Monet next to a, a guy that's thrown excrement in a 65 by 40 canvas, what does that tell you? My stuff is, you know, fairly commercial. Please, you're leaving me. This is rude. Would you do this to Claude Monet? No. No. <laughs> oh, God, how, what have we done? What have you done? Richard, look, you're responsible for all Let's of give this. back our money, whatever we got in it. Let the man let us alone. I'm too tortured. I want to go back to the asylum where I'm protected. Oh, boy. Mr. Winter's Sorry. Sorry. career is in the toilet again. Where's the next show going to be? Right out here. Pull over. <laughs> We could do that, Jonathan. And you have said that you would so, rather go out and sell them on the side of the road than yeah. what? You know, a lot of what I tell you, Dr. Pasternak, is funny. It's just funster, funny. Kidding. You must learn that. Because everything I say, if I say, look at the transit wires, oh, good, we got a shot of that, Richard. Pull over. Have him under there. Looks like he's uh, endorsing capital punishment. Well, what about the sign here? Good, why not? See, you think that everything we're going to do is going to be on film. Everything we've done is on film, but only two or three frames are salvageable. Given that he's that age, you have to move pretty quickly. It sometimes it works very well to have a, a personality in the art community who could participate in presenting the artist's work. There's one influential critic that I think you should really go after. So I think you need to get a critic. Somebody like, for instance, Nicholas de Borg. And that's Nicholas de Borg. Someone like Nicholas de Borg. If he were close to Nicholas de Borg of International Art Magazine. Why did I ever take this on? Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. Nicholas de Bourg? Indeed. I'm Jim Pasternak. I'm... Excuse me, sir, we... I'm making a documentary film on Jonathan Winters. 
Uh, I'm a great admirer. Is this the time and the place? It, it's the only time I've been looking for you. I haven't been able to get to you. All the gatekeepers have kept me away. <laughs> And, you know, the conference, you were fabulous yesterday. Oh, and your piece in International Art on Miro, I want to introduce you, Thank you. to Jonathan. a page, Jonathan Winters. Isn't he a comedian? He's, yeah, the American comedian. Johnny Carson's, alive? oh, yeah. And he's, oh, he, he's, he's painting. He just had a major you show. You, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's really rather my, lovely. Look at that. It's a Magritte. That's a Magritte, isn't it? Beautiful. He just had a show at the Andrew Weiss Gallery, and he had a show in, in Las uh, Vegas. In Beverly Hills? In Beverly Hills. Yeah. Oh, that's got a, a definite colorful. sort of correlation between the, yeah. the Impressionists and... Look at his use of colour there. <laughs> all, all, all the influences <laughs> of all the masses. I see he's got a... a oh, wow. How old is he? he he's 78. He's he still 78. has a sense of humour. He still has a sense of humour. Would it be terribly rude of me, Edward, if we cut short our meeting? And uh, I would love to follow up on this. This is really rather exciting, actually. I know you. <laughs> You think Halloween is just once a year? All year round. I'm Mr. Jack-o'-lantern. Only I don't have a candle in my job. Okay? These are teeth partly from Kitty and Dove. I mean, he's quite evidently that missing link between Miro and Dali, uh, for my money. And yet, he, he takes all of Miro's playfulness and, uh, and, and, and elevates it to a, to a heightened sense of cartoon reality that, uh, that has a lot more to say about his contemporary world than Miro's ever did. There we are. If camera can pick this up. If that is not SpongeBob SquarePants Nemesis, I don't know who is. Do you think we should go up the North Face? I don't know. It's a difficult time to go. I think we should wait another day or two and the winds come down. Kinsu, Kinsu, what do you think? I, and uh, my, my ass foes. What? Ass foes. I don't, I don't understand. Jesus. Here, take some of these stones and put them in your mouth. Ass a frozen. There you go. Give me more stones. Ass a frozen. Are you sure we can get up to Everest? I'm not sure. I find you an attractive man. It's rather auspicious, actually. Uh, a colleague of mine, um, might call a friend, Stacy Kaufman, I think you may have heard of her. She's the curator of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. She's uh, currently looking uh, for an artist to, uh, to uh, orbit uh, a, a new exhibition of celebrity contemporary artists around, and I think, um, I, I could take Jonathan's work to her with some confidence. Let's go to New York City and meet with the boss. Hello. Hope you haven't been waiting long. Oh, no, no. Not, not at all. No. Stacy, you're looking as wonderful as ever. Uh, th this is Jim Pasternak, the yes, director of the documentary you. that I told you. Thank you for letting us tape. I mean, we appreciate it. Hmm. Ironic. Provocative. That is more Magritte than Dali, would you say? Well, perhaps more Miro than <clears throat> Magritte. Perhaps. Ah. It's very interesting, sir. He's still alive, isn't he? <laughs> oh, good heavens, yes. You don't think we'd bring you a dead artist, do you? I would need three absolutely new paintings to mix in with the old work. Can he deliver it? He's a very fast painter. I'd like something large scale for the big gallery. Let me do Kitty for you. Said. We're here to see your dad. Uh, I'm sorry, he's not here right now. He's not? He, we were supposed to meet him here. Well, he took off with his paintings. He went away with his... What's he doing with his paintings? Oh, he put him in the car and said he was going to go sell them in the neighborhood somewhere. Oh, good God, there he is. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, good, good. Oh, heavens, look, there's a chap going to buy one now. Quickly, quickly. Oh, look, can I say something straight off the bat? I, I have to get $50, senor. 
No, no, Pepe. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. Uh, Still sounded painted. Moment. Jonathan. Please. I, I, he's a customer. What do you, please, you're interrupting me. Jonathan, you need to... that painting for the I, Museum I, of Modern I, Art. Museum of Modern Art? Yes, Jonathan. Moment, moment, moment. Yes. I want to introduce you to Nicholas Mr. de Boer. Yeah, I, Mr. Winters. Uh, please. Mr. Winters. Uh, uh, yes. Nicholas de Boer, Go. I must say, this is a great pleasure. Me Nicholas too. de Boer is the publisher of International Art Magazine. I understand. I, yes. I have some wonderful yes. news, Mr. Winters. Moment, please, oh, is, is it no say hello. No, no, no. Not for no, say hello. No, Mr. Winters, yes. uh, we took a meeting with Stacey Kaufman at the Museum of Modern Art, and I have good news, sir. She yes. would like to feature you and your work in the new Contemporary Celebrity Artist Exhibition coming up in the next few months, sir. It's fabulous, exciting news. What do you think about that? I just, uh, I don't know what to think. I, I just, uh, are you sure? Uh, you're putting me on. No, no, sir. Is that right, Richard? Richard, where are you? Uh, I'm back here. It's, it's for real. I can count on this? Uh, yeah. I find this awfully hard to believe, but if you say so. Jonathan, yes. she wants you to paint three new paintings. Three new paintings would like to be commissioned. Oh, three, please. So you I, can't stop. No. Not for sale, sir. Please, it goes for Museo in the way of New York. Hey, 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 wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, 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 stop, stop. I'll go. Far out there. Stop him. Give me, give me that. Give me that. What's the matter with you? Okay. Damaged? No, it's, uh... And it's the Noto Salo. Good God. One big, big canvas. 48 by 60, four feet by five feet. Mm, okay. I'm gonna be, uh... Painting for the museum back east, the Museum of Modern Art, as a matter of fact. In uh, New York? Yeah, in New York. I'll take this white, and let me tell oh, this black. This black. Uh, what the hell is the matter? Damn, damn it! Hello, boys and girls. We're going upstairs now and paint. Paint three wonderful new paintings. And Uncle Jim Pasternak said he paints fast. <laughs> I wonder. you to go in mommy's medicine cabinet and maybe there'll be some special pills to help you see the whole face. The big pack. The big picture. I can truthfully say today that at long last I'm happy with my insanity. But for my kind of insanity, the fact that I can't play everywhere, I understand that. I was told that a long time ago. The fact that I can play anywhere, do anything without being obscene, completely out of line, verbally, physically. The fact that I can do silly, little, crazy moments of insanity and not have a net put over me. This is my family. This is my cute spouse and better half, Eileen. Good evening, Eileen. How do you do, Mr. Merle? This is my good-looking boy, my eight-year-old King Kong, Jay. Evening, Jay. Mm -hmm. And this is my little girl, Lucinda, a year and a half. Evening, Lucinda. Mrs. Winters, her daughter is still a bit young to appreciate your husband's humor, or is she? Well, I don't think she understands what he's saying, but she certainly loves his sound effects. <laughs> I thought when I got married, I would somehow be Robert Young, and she'd be Lee Remick, you know? Mm. And it would be constantly kissing. It wasn't always in bed, scorning. Oh, my darling. Hey, listen, you behave yourself. Those guys will be hitting on you, I'm telling you. Please. We'd never fight. It was always that incredible marriage they met in high school. 
It's just amazing. I always thought that was where I, you know. Then I realized this isn't it at all. I gotta get all the love I can. Mm. Okay. All right, just the shambles. <laughs> I've been married a long, long time. When I say goodnight to her, I go into my room. Maybe you're more fortunate than I am. Maybe you're still sleeping with that wonderful person. Well, the wonderful person has is, uh, is got her own room, and she snores. <laughs> so I go to my room, and I snore, but nobody has to nudge me. Wake up, wake up. A lot of people say, isn't it sad the old person has to go to his room? Don't feel sorry for me. I have lots of pictures of myself. It's not a narcissistic thing. Not an ego trip. I like to look in there and look at those pictures and think, God, I did have all black hair. And my face was thinner. I wasn't handsome, but I was cute. I must have been cute. Because that woman next door picked me out. <laughs> Mr. Winters, I have some uh, terrible news. Kidding? What? Uh, somebody stole a painting out of the gallery. Oh, please. The Umbrella Dances. I know it's your favorite painting. Oh, my God. Don't tell me. What? I called the police already. They're on their way. Uh, I mean, this has never happened before. What kind of people were this? Kira was here. She's the one who spoke to them. Oh, and, uh, you have to ask her because I, I don't know what's happening. What happened, happened sweetheart? Happened. What happened? Who, who stole the painting? I don't know who stole the painting. I, I was I was out here. There were two people out here, two ladies. Um, the um, couple left. It was just the older people. So I went to the restroom, um, and I, t I told the uh, um, my boss, uh, the other manager, and um, I guess when I came out, it was gone. Do you have any yeah. idea? Other than two older women, what they really look like, what, give me some kind of, maybe a... They were just older women, they had black on, and um, the one had curly hair. I didn't pay that much attention to them, because I didn't think they would take a, a, a picture. Yeah, they did. You know, you're not supposed to leave the front. When somebody's in here, you cannot go in the back. You've been told that many times. I, I just, and what, it would be my favorite. Painting God. How do you feel about having your painting stolen? Oh, it's like losing a child. They are children. They're children of the canvas. It's a part of me. It's a definite part of me. It's not just mixing colors. It's my ideas. Something's been stolen from my mind. Jim, you must have really had to bite into your tongue with all that crap that this guy came up with. Well, you know, Jonathan, we saw so many sides of him. It makes for a fun time. Where will you sell this? Probably in Germany. <laughs> the young people coming up. Hey, boy, what a guy. <laughs> he was really funny. He did a lot of stuff that we like. <laughs> Okay. How are we doing, fellas? Uh, Nervous? Nope. No money. Hello. Uh, without really much further ado, my friend, Jonathan Winters. <laughs> good. Not good, but beats going against the traffic. <laughs> You're a cigar smoker. Well, one, one. One what? One a day. Oh, okay. One, sometimes two. How many? Two. Okay. I don't have to answer to you. I'm married to a woman. <laughs> don't be like Mrs. Winters, you know. You smoke three. <laughs> I always thought for a long time that, you know, if you had to have your own room and you didn't sleep together, you know, then the ball game's over. Not necessarily. <laughs> I have my own handgun. 
<laughs> the president I like? <laughs> and my teddy bear. Okay. Well, we don't know. We haven't heard from him in a week. Hey. Hey. <sighs> I'm Jim. I, I'm Jeffrey. I'm sorry. It's I'm, okay. I'm. Uh, here's what happened. He. He. I, I thought this. I thought he was coming over for like you know to show me all his paintings and 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 and, and you know just a, a, a few. He brought every single painting. And he hasn't left. He's got to go. I'm not kidding. This is unbelievable. And there's something about a lost, a lost, a painting was lost? Yeah, stolen? one of his paintings was stolen from the gallery. And he doesn't shut up, this guy. He just, I mean, he's great, but I mean, I gotta get him. I, and I don't wanna hurt his feelings. Jonathan? Hi, it's Jim. Remember I said Jim might come over? Hey, John. Yeah. Uh, I have people coming, and you've been a wonderful house guest and everything like that, and I really enjoy the paintings and everything like that, but I'm gonna have to ask you if you could just go. I just can't, just a moment, just a minute. This um, is the one place that I felt that my paintings were really safe. You understand that yeah. one was stolen. I understand. Yeah. And look, I tell you what, paintings, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll buy one of these paintings. I, I like this painting. I, I will buy this painting. That's twenty-five thousand. How much? I mean, it's great. Well, twenty thousand. All right. Uh, Please. All right. Yeah, Listen to me. You've got to go. Okay, you just gotta go. That's all. Would you help me? I mean, you come here and I look what I'm doing. Uh, uh, John. Why don't you put your hand here? And not, not, I don't. I feel like a schmuck. Okay, uh, so please. everything's fine. You know, you know, this what? is a good painting. I'll buy this one. How That's much is ten thousand dollars? You got it. I'm gonna get it. Okay, and we'll we'll talk about that. Watch watch your step. Okay. I really enjoyed having you here. I don't understand but it. You, uh, a man with this size house. Yeah. All right. And, hold on. and worried about. Hello. An artist and a handful of paintings yeah, in his I room. I, I can't even talk. What is this all about? No, he's leaving. Who could right. be more important to come I, I here? I got you. Thank you. Oh, all right. You can't. Okay. Thank you very much. Leave it. You leave it. Good. Go. Man was impossible to treat me like that, like some kind, some kind of an animal. He was very upset, John. He's upset. Think how I feel. Mm. Come on. Better that you don't stay here if he doesn't want you to stay here. Anyway, your paintings will be safe. He's offered to buy you a security system. Ooh, he'll bitch. We're late. Jonathan doesn't want you to come inside. He's not up to it or something. Can you... Can... We had an appointment. I know you had an appointment, but... I talked to him last night. What Jimmy, are you talking... Uh, what are you even doing here? I don't understand. Jim, I told you he doesn't want you to come inside. Is something the matter? Is he hey, sick? Hey, uh, he changed his mind. He, what do you mean? He says he wants to see you. Hey! How you doing? Not too good, thanks. I, I've got some bad news, I gotta tell you. You understand? The documentary. Forget it. It's over. I can't do it because I've lost my sense of humor. Do you understand? No. And without a sense of humor, I can't paint. Now, do you remember when I went in the bathroom and the guy followed me in there? He grabbed me. He's a witch doctor and sucked the humor right out of my body. On top of that, <laughs> Come on. you find that funny? Yes, I do. What? I mean, it's... Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. I can't paint anymore. It's that simple. Jonathan, I'm sure that whatever's bothering you, you're going to feel better about it. And the Museum of Modern Art is, you know, a big opportunity. You haven't heard a word I've said, have you? Hey, that's it. I don't want to talk Jonathan, anymore about it. Jonathan, there are lots of painters talk anymore who can about paint it. without a sense of I humor. I don't want to talk about it. Jim, but, I don't care about other Jonathan, painters. Jonathan, I, I don't understand what's come over you. I mean, Jim, Jim, we're, we're making a time. documentary. What are you talking about? Jim, Jim, alone. we told you that it was not the time to... It's over. Yeah. I'll talk to you some other time. I just, I can't... Okay, we'll talk another time. Sandwich. Okay, we'll talk another time. We'll talk another time. I tried to tell you. Not only a witch doctor, the guy's a terrorist. This is crazy. He does these episodes. Do you understand how much money that we have in this I documentary? I understand, but you know, this, this moment, this moment, this is where it's at. 
10 minutes from now, an hour now, could be a different situation. I want you to look under that sheet and see what I've been working on. Well, I... Look! I hope I didn't see what I saw. A little man, six inches long. His face, hair, those tiny feet. Hey, where am I? Speaks. How many of these little men do you have, Doctor? Over 18,000. I've got them all there in that file cabinet. Well, the metaphor I would use is he's on the hero's journey, which has several stages. And right now he's in the crisis. He is facing the loss of the Holy Grail. In his case, his sense of humor. A woman asked me one time, she said, what are you all about? And I said, a survivor of crib death. <laughs> Slid between the slats, turned purple. Parents came home. Why is the kid look like that? Blue. I was hanging around here. You rolling? Okay. All right, listen to this. This is Jonathan. Get up here. Bring the camera. Don't be late. All right? Hey, Jonathan. Yeah. Where the Hi. hell have you people been? It was. It oh, was... don't tell me about it. It's a gridlock and the traffic was heavy and that crap. God, I've been here for two or three hours waiting. I really, really want to get this guy. And one of these apples, man, and two of them, they won't even see shoelaces after that. Richard, you're coming with me. We're Jonathan, out of here. are those real? Are those real? Jonathan, you, Bet can't, your ass. you can't walk around with a grenade. Jonathan. Really? Yeah. What, is this the Second Amendment? They're talking about the right to bear arms. Jonathan, no, we're right? going to get it's arrested guns. If, if we walk around with grenades. I'll take that chance, yeah. Come on, Richard. We're going to find him. Richard? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Another fun trip. Hey, hey, what? it is a fun trip. It isn't what fun. A blessing. I mean, here I am. This is costing driving, you a but, fortune but and me my mind. Jonathan, <laughs> Jonathan let's yeah. say we find this person. What are you going to do? Are you going to jump out of the cab with a grenade? I have mixed feelings of what I want to do. What does this guy look like? Well, I'd certainly know him if I saw him. But I mean, is he tall? Is he? No, uh, he's how... comparatively short. Sometimes you say he's tall, and sometimes you say he's short, Jonathan. Well, so let me I'm say... confused. I mean, All you right, know, like me, what me... color is his hair or his eyes? You I know, mean... the enemy always changes costumes, dyes his hair. And a lot of criminals, you know, uh, put on fake mustaches. Pencil mustache. Look like a. You go right oh, at this God, light. Jonathan, you're right at this me. light. God, obesity is a big problem in this country. That woman looks like she had Fuji on her side. Hi, everybody. Gary Owens here from the fabulous 690 The Lounge with our very special guest, our longtime friend, the wonderful Jonathan Winters. Jonathan, we just heard the story that you're going to be shown at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. But there seems to be a little bit of a problem connected with that. Well, it's, it's problems. It's plural, yeah. Mary. I was in a, a bathroom recently, and this guy came over and bit me in the neck. I know it sounds bizarre. Really? It sounds like a bad B picture. Yeah, it does. But um, he sucked the humor right out of me, believe it or not, and this show... Well, if these um, people out there listening to us mm, right now right. find this man, give us a phone call because we've got to get your sense of humor back. You know, without my sense of humor, I mean, I, I'm, I'm more than lost. I, I've thought uh, seriously of just packing it in and. Uh, well, well, that's sad. We don't want you to ever do. I that don't want. Anything. I don't want you know mention no. death because it's such a bummer down in. Uh, uh, death is nature's way of telling you to slow down. I guess, isn't it? Oh, I, no I, matter how it comes about. Gosh, that's so profound. It I... is kind of profound. Was the cameras. I need proof. You listen, understand? listen. I'm Wait. not the best in the business by exposing myself. I want these cameras off. We can't continue with that. 
I Otherwise, do. the deal is off. But wait, we do need proof. I, I emphasize that. We need proof, okay? What do we need proof for? We need you to find the witch doctor who stolen my sense of humor, frankly. Come again, please? We need a... We need to get this witch doctor who's stolen my sense of humor. You must be shitting me. No. Who are we killing? Who do you want me to kill? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, let's don't talk about that. You know, I'm that. very good in killing. Yeah, I'm here because of a sense of humor. Yes, What's a sense of humor? Is it some biological? Can I touch it? Well, How do I find it? It's a spiritual thing. The spirit. Yeah. How do I find it? How do I kill it? Well, you know, the question of killing it, you want to salvage it. So I don't a, kill it? I'm very know. good in killing it. You know? Now, wait a minute. You're, I know you're hung up on killing. Hold on a second. How do you steal a sense of humor? You yeah. want me to take back your sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Just bring it. What, what, do I, what do I put? Once it? you get your hands on it. You... I take yeah. the sense of humor. That's right. Where do I pack it? How do I bring it back oh, no. to you? No, In a spiritual way, it'll come back to me that way. You see? I can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? Can't do it. It's too small of a job. I got Eichmann. I kill people for a living. Mr. Winters, please. You want me to catch a sense of humor. And now, I never was here. You don't yeah. call me, right. I call you. Right. In fact, I'm going to call Miss Muffet. Miss Muffin. Have a nice day. You too. You can be funny and not have your sense of humor. Or just, I mean, a sense of humor is like a sense of smell. It's inside of you. Now, you might not be able to smell that sandwich, but we, we all can. That doesn't mean you're not funny. It doesn't mean the sandwich doesn't smell just because you can't smell it. Was it taken from him, or did he let it go? Well, I, d I don't understand you, and I, I try, but you seem odd. You're certain. I, I can't believe that you've come out of me. <laughs> uh, the demons, and then your dad, see, and so on. And, and people will say, uh, well, I didn't think that your mother and dad were like this. You didn't live with them. Have you forgiven them? Yes, a long time ago, but I haven't forgotten them. Your mom was a radio star, wasn't Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and Dad uh, sold alcohol to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was an only child, and I tell you, for a long time, I thought one good thing, I'd be first on the will. I got, I got a broken Edwardian chair, a set of dishes from the local asylum, and uh, a cat that was stuffed. <laughs> shall we? No. You say that to Gregory Peck? Mr. Peck, shall we, or Greggy? Hey, Pecker, let's do it. Mm. House of Correction, shall we? <laughs> Keep smiling. So close to death, anyway. One of these days, the performance ends. What was he like? Very strange. He was a man of many, many moods. I depressed, uh, politically uh, disturbed, religiously. I can't say what he was disturbed there. I didn't mean to bother you, but uh, I was wondering if you'd take a picture of me out there on the rim. Why not? Why not? Go ahead. Just a little further back. Pretty close to the edge, aren't I? Wouldn't I tell you? I'm sure I would. A little further. <laughs> They're all here for you because they were very concerned about what has happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we would love to have you back because you know how important your humor is. Oh, great spirits, please come to us. We feel very lucky to have you. Oh, I'm hearing something. <laughs> Dad? What? We're here. We're all here. We're all here together with Jonathan Winters. Remember? You used to be on his show, and, and, and he lost his sense of humor. And, and, and we're just trying to help him find a sense of humor. What should he do? What does he say? Every day, every day, you must put a clown nose on your nose. And, you, and you go <laughs> every day to the supermarket and do your go about your business, and it invokes humor in everybody else around you. And just by that simple gesture, your humor will come back. And remember, they're not... What? They're not breakdowns. They're oh, breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. Mm. Yes. Die! Love it. I... Yes, a little aren't please, why? 
You got nothing. <laughs> no, you have to concentrate. Just go back and concentrate. It's gone. I, I don't... Uh, what are you feeling? you feel anything? Please. This whole place. Jonathan. Just be funny. Just be funny. That's you, crazy. Hard. You know, humor you know what? Is much harder. It's okay that you're dark and light. That's the way shamans are in other cultures. A healer is all light. A shaman is dark and light. Your humor heals people. Your humor is powerful. It is dark and light. Don't fight the dark. You okay? <laughs> I, I know you're laughing, but we'll, we'll try and get you some help. I hope so. I've got a doctor I want you to see. Oh, please, another one. Yeah, but that's all right. This is Mr. a different Winters, kind of doctor. Are, are, are we all right? This is a humor therapist. Humor therapist. Bodily humors. <laughs> He's here because you know he didn't want to he wasn't crazy about listen we're not going to see lion megawin today so don't worry about because i know that you were a little reticent about him oh god the I, uh honey, listen, transformational I life coach i gotta be honest with you is this really gonna work go in with an open mind and you know open up your whole psychic reikian uh decremosity if you will hi gt yeah hi i'm nora hi and we haven't met you this met is jonathan really winters Hi. Hi, Jonathan. Oh, there's a little boy in you, isn't That's it? right. And this... oh, may I ask how old are you? I'm 50. Are you? Yeah. But not really. I, I'm really around four. <laughs> Where do you get most of your toys? From other children. I'm usually bigger than most of them. This kid, this is Han Solo. A kid had this. I took it from him. You say that you don't have a sense of humor anymore. I'm numb. I can't paint anymore. It My sounds eye... like a... Like a car wreck, man. You're in bad shape. Yeah. You need some help. Now, this is something we have to build into, all right? Yeah. Do it with me. Could I have that candy bar? I wouldn't be a good Come mother if me. I let you have a candy bar. You want a candy bar? You're one of the whole box candy of candy bars. I'm not going to give you any more candy. Candy. I get it. Come on, let's no. go. Give you us that have candy it. bar. You cannot have it. If you want your humor back, I think what GT's saying is you got to throw a tantrum. I <laughs> hate that's that's it. I like that. That's a good start. That's, that's your assignment. Is that the one? That's the one. I'm gonna go now and leave. Leave all of you. Jonathan's um, disappearance. Could, could have been a, a brief abduction. I mean, again, Ten minutes or so. Yeah. The ability to single out uh, Jonathan Winters uh, for his sense of humor implies a fairly pervasive information uh, technology, information assessment technology. So uh, Mr. Winters comes up with part of his uh, personality deleted, happened to be his sense of humor. Well, we're going to play a little pool. It's got everything you need to think about, you know, the artistic expressions and patterns and shapes yeah. and colors. Kind of... I want you to get your humor. Where does America get whatever it gets? A target. Wow. You've wow. got to find it here. You'll find it here. I hope you're right, Howie. You know, a lot of great painters played golf. Yes. Ben Goh was a golfer. Was he? That's how he... Oh. He had an ear for golf. You've had a spiritual disconnection to your aura, and the tint of your hue is not shining. So I want you to take this, what we're doing, seriously. What do you recommend? Anything? I don't know. I mean, there's comedies. You could just watch comedies, but that may not inspire comedy. Maybe surprised? you want to see something like Hotel Rwanda. Where would we find the funny? A what? The funny. Fight? Funny. <laughs> I don't, I've never played this course before. You're almost like a tall Tiger Woods. Really? Yeah. Do you it just, around you. Here, you said, something like this. If you could just have your wife do this right. much to for you in the morning. Ooh. It's a lot like my wife getting that close. Yeah, you want to have somebody with good vision. Oh, yeah. I'm nearsighted. Oh, oh, my Stuff God. Stuff like that. That's going to shake it up. I bet you're shake quite active up. after dark, aren't you? Well. But we're looking for the funny. We're trying to find 
a sense of humor. I you obviously it. shop here at Target often? Every now and again. Every now and again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Both. Where would we find the funny? What aisle would you send us? For what? Humor. Toys. Toys. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's the best place on earth. What's your favorite toy? Well. Oh. <laughs> Batteries. Batteries. <laughs> <laughs> What about crazy people? Could I, that, could I just look at that? Crazy people is highly underrated. Is it really? Yeah, Dudley Moore, oh. Daryl Hannah, the oh. great comic stylings it? of Daryl Hannah. Oh. Oh, The Big Lebowski is great. It's oh, so great. What is that? The Big Lebowski. Yeah, now what's this about? Can you fill me in? This is about this dude, the dude. Okay. He's just a burnout stoner. Mm. But he's the hero of the movie. Uh, maybe I had a bad fall last night. The ball seemed so small. It was a dream, or you actually fell? Well, I actually fell. Fell out of bed. Oh, I see. I was standing up trying to scare my wife, which, and she just said, uh, get off the bed. And, so, yeah. and, so, and the idea behind scaring her would be what? Oh, just to renew the marriage. Jonathan? Yeah. I can't feel my foot. Oh, God. Is it, I, is it getting numb? I don't know. I can't feel you it. You can't feel the foot? You want me to feel it? <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's on this. I hate this game. I hate it. Don't let him sit, hear me say that. Got it. What? I'm surprised nobody's uh, on this court. Yeah. I'm right. a member here, you know. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Probably in good here. standing. We had our reception here for our wedding. Oh, really? Yep. You and uh, third wife. You know, you know, it's fun to see you in here. Get it. Big guy, a funny man in a basket. People say, where'd you get the Mandel doll? It's just only one. What's the story, briefly, on the, the Book of Answers? Well, you ask the question, okay. and you open the book, okay. and you'll get your answer. What is your answer? Don't bet on it. Do <laughs> you find that funny? Not, no, I don't. That's like going to Santa Anita, <laughs> and the horses are all dead. Howie Mandel, Jonathan Winters. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me back on the target because he feels that, that he has hospital. lost his sense of humor. I said, this is the place where you get everything, right? Look what you got. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, this week, you've lost your sense of humor, too. So this is the one week she's lost her sense of humor. So you guys are on the same mission. Jesus. <laughs> no. What, what, what kind of book is this? No. Huh? Really? Hilarious, I'm not, huh? I'm crying. I'm very upset. So am I sorry. Just guide me to something that you think would bring back my sense of humor partially back. Anything. I could show you a boob. A boob? Yeah. One of my boobs. One of my two of the boobs. Uh, well, let's not go crazy. I'm no. taken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing. See? Oh, uh oh. oh. Gosh, I'm winning all of a sudden. See, this is why uh, life is so difficult. One moment you're tied, the next moment you're in last place. Oh, oh. boy, yeah, right around there. A lot of people do this to me, you know. When the ball went in that way, yeah. I identified. Things have to get better for you. Let's right. put your hand there again, and let's just think of the word soon. It's going to come back soon. Let me open it again. You will not be disappointed. Getting better. Getting better. Are you diabetic? Yeah. Borderline. What does that mean? You can well, only drink between here and Mexico? Well, <gasps> milk, milk, lemonade, round the corner, fudge is made. Oh, it's a great game. Be honest, I was pathetic when I read A little bit. Huh? A little bit, but you, you're playing with a rubber club. And... I read your book on humility. Is it still a one page? <laughs> <laughs> well, Jonathan, it's been an honor. I hope you found a little piece of what you're looking for, buddy. A little piece is so important to an elderly man. Right. Well, a little piece is important to any man. Richard knows I'm crazy. Not a question of thinking I'm crazy. Yeah, and I appreciate it. That's right. Thank you, Richard. It doesn't matter if we appreciate it or not. You still can't hmm? paint. I know that. You can't paint because you neither lost Neither can your... you, neither can you, neither can you. <laughs> neither can Richard, neither can her. Muffy can't paint, you can't paint, you can't paint, I can't paint. I don't care, I don't care. <laughs>
a little child in you. What are you doing? You're acting like Robin Williams when he came out of the box. Jim Carrey. I can do that, but I don't get any money for it. Nicholas called Stacy Kaufman and told her to come to Los Angeles. She's going to be here the day after tomorrow. Well, there he is, OK? Well, my God. Hey, is this not exciting? How are you? Nice to see you. And you remember Nicholas? Yes. Very good to see you, sir. How are you, Nicholas? Thank you for having us. Critic. Yes, indeed. God, I hope you like my things here. Let's go on in here and take a look at what, what's happening. Uh, let's, let's take a look. Just uh, stand over there, if you will. And let me uh, describe uh, what's going to happen here. For instance, this, uh, this canvas, I'm painting kind of a brown, burnt sienna background, you see. And then a huge apple, a big, big red apple. And uh, then across the apple, bobbed wire. And three pieces of bobbed wire across. It's called forbidden fruit. Let's go over here. And this, this is kind of a, a How long would it take you to actually paint these, Jonathan? Uh, I can see one, two, uh, two, four days at the most, four days. All three of them? All three of them. In four yeah, days? Yeah, please, four, four days. I work night and day. You have to understand that. So you could have them to me in New York? Yes. Within? Four and a half days at, at the latest, they'll be there. I mean, I've seen him do it. I mean, I've seen him, you know, once he's got it in his mind, it's like oh, painting yeah. by the numbers. He yeah. just, you know, puts the paint right on the canvas. I can only give you five days. If I don't have it in New York in five days, I'm going to have to go with another artist. But I in understand. the meantime, I look forward to seeing them. Thank you. I look forward to you receiving them. You do it. We think we have a way for Jonathan to start painting again. Oh, thank God. How? If he had his stolen painting back, he'd regain his sense of humor. Hmm. Jolly good. And so you have it? No. No? No. We have a photograph. We need to have a copy of the painting made. A forgery? <laughs> oh, guys. It looks like the original. Amazing. You'll never know the difference. What do you think? Perfect. We'll put a little more starch in the kettle, shall we? <laughs> I'm the old witch. Well, what's the matter? Well, little, you're coming my on. voice you're a little. coming on a little. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have your own show till next year. I wait my wand at the pier. $8,000 watch. Six to eight. Where'd you get it? Robin Williams gave it to me. Really? Well, he should. He's took a lot of my material. He's very generous, very sweet guy. Well, he loves you. I love him. I'd marry him, but it would look awkward. Sweet. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Jack. Oh. Oh, yeah, yes. that uh, Jack yes. Paul discovered the Beatles actually before Ed Sullivan. He went over oh, there. I heard that No, it's true. He went it... over, I swear to God, he went over there with his. Uh... 153 Cavanaugh? I know where that is. Oh, let's call the cops. Okay, call the cops. Well, let's what do you mean? We're going. The three of us, the four of us, was anyway. Right, I'm going to drive. Oh, I'm going to drive. Alan, let me drive. Oh. There we go. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And I don't want to see that bat come out. Tuck it away. I will put it Please, Lisa. Tony Soprano, the bat. Put the bat away. Hello? Hello? 
Hello. Hello? Oh, just a moment. Don't show that bat. I won't show the bat. Don't worry about it. Apparently, are you here? Hello? Hello? Hi. Anybody here? Hello? 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 Anybody home? Huh? Hello? Uh-oh. Look at that. Jonathan, it's right over there. Is oh. that it? Oh, my gosh. What? Oh, it is. It's a painting. I don't think there's anybody here. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm the voice of spring. <laughs> I bring you some little goodies from the park. <laughs> Under my shoes are hoofs. <laughs> Is that right? My legs are like that of a goat. <laughs> but I dress for the city folk. <laughs> but the birds and the bees and the animals and the fish and the creatures. <laughs> All want to wish everybody a great big spring. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you say? Uh, uh, what are you? <laughs> She's canceled the show. Say she's canceled. There's the uh, paintings. I apparently didn't arrive. I certainly worked on them and I finished them. I sent them. She said, Well, we didn't get them. I don't get it. Oh, bad geez. day. Bad day. You guys have jerked me around for the last time. Do you know what this is going to do to him? Not my problem, Jim. Stacy, this is going to be Sorry, devastating. Jim. Her hair was uh, like Shirley Temple, Master Coils. She had uh, baby blue eyes, a semblance of breasts, and a full bush. Um, she had a little dog called Bow Wow. And Bow Wow was barking along as she was going along the path, which was full of amphetamines, syringes, and coke. She was going to see Grandma, who was a transvestite. She didn't know this until she got in the cabin. But her mother and dad, odd couple, Mary and Betty June Lindley, they'd adopted her. The kid was a heterosexualist. So she's going along the path, OK? And Bow Wow suddenly stops, takes a dump and has one of the amphetamines, and then the dog does two circles and bites a squirrel and dies. She continues on the forest floor. She smokes a joint to kind of ease her mind. She picks some flowers and eats them, because she's hallucinating. She always had lunch with mushrooms and thought she was on a plateau in, in near the Yucatan. And it's, she, goes through the door and sees Grandma. Grandma's whispering. Yeah, I can hear that. Grandma's whispering. So the little girl takes out a 75, 80 Magnum and blows it broad across the room. It's the end of the story, boys and girls. OK? Don't whisper. There you go. Oh, look at here, Richard, a toy from Jonathan. That's oh. Stacy Kaufman toy. I'm in New York City. Meet me at Madison Square Park on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. I don't know where he is. Oh, shoot. Hey, are you uh, Jim Pasternak? Yeah. 
Yeah, here, uh, I got this. Uh, Jonathan Winters asked me to give you that, OK? He said you were going to be out here shooting a movie, and uh, I should give you this. And uh, I'm an actor. I'm John Rothman, OK? He said you might have a little. Uh, Thanks. Right, I got to go. I'm late for an audition, all right? OK, he didn't say okay. anything else to you? No. You know. OK. OK. Be at the back door of the Museum of Modern Art at 1 AM. Bring camera. Never give up your dream, John. Michael, listen, I've got to talk with Robin. I, I hear you, but he's in rehearsal at the moment. I, I know, but it's really, really important. It's, thank you. Hello, Robin, it's Jim. Jonathan? Someone's coming. John. Johnny. Robin? John. Robin. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Easy, I know. easy. I know. Come on, You're I gotta tell I gotta tell you something. The Museum of Modern Art promised me they would hang my paintings and they they, they went back on their word. They said they they've had a change of heart, as they put it. Now I have nothing. Right. I'm there's gonna nothing, hang myself. I've got this. No, 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 John. Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. I, I really John. I there's no kidding about it. Oh, I, John. You got to understand. I got to make a statement. I want to do something. I want to do. It would. It would be a great statement. But then, that last moment, if you're lucky, you go quick. All right. If, if I don't hang in the Museum of Modern Art, what am I to do? Uh, Set what, yourself what? on fire at Benihana. Set myself on fire at Benihana. 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 Yeah, it's about Benihana, the same thing. Benihana. The same guys are just up there. Benihana. 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 Here now. You know part here. You be upset. You, you tell me no taking no laundry. Hey, you you call me on. rickshaw uh, route. So uh, no, one no, more okay. time. You not see what I eat. Come on, see what I'm so tired of. Do you? Come to the Louvre with your American art, your little had, naive primitive art. If I had some Coba Blue, I would. Good morning, Jonathan. <laughs> Jim. Hi, Stacy. We'll see you about that. Uh, uh. Listen, I just have I have ten minutes uh, till my next meeting, so oh, I just wanted to. I understand. I understand you're you're under the gun, but wait a minute. Do me a favor and, and take a look at this DVD. Listen, if you're trying Put... to get back into the museum, yeah. Jonathan, it, it's out of my hands. This, really. this, just play that. And see, see if I'm wrong. I think you're going to change your mind. Okay, just look at this. This is in the museum. That's right. And the paintings are there. How did you get in the museum? Never mind how I got in there. Is that Robin Williams? It's Robin Williams, that's me. You're... How did you do this, Jonathan? Where... I don't, I don't know what to say. This is... This is I don't know how you pulled it off. Well, but I did pull it off. But it's incredible. It's pure data. This is brilliant. fun here today on art on art please remember boys and girls that the NEA is underfunded so you're not going to get money from the government because they're spending it all right now we'll take care and remember what they said we're trying to drown the government in a bathtub remember that we'll be right back with Jonathan Winters here on art fun thank you thanks for coming today John it's been a joy having you on our show. Boys, we, I'm getting to talk like you. <laughs> it's so good. Well, that's why we met last year, and we met last year in uh, New Orleans during Mardi Gras. We had a couple of cocktails. We had a margarita. And next thing you know, we're just throwing beads. And, and beads. we were on a float with no flowers. <laughs> no flowers. Just ourselves and a papaya. That's all we had. He had a banana I'd never seen before. Well, I hit it. <laughs> and you kept saying it's unripe. I said, it just needs to be clean. <laughs> Potassium, potassium. Oh, God, everywhere. I just said, don't be afraid, pull that sucker out. And you said, and then that old joke, read the card. That was such read a hate. That was wild. Why did the two of you steal Jonathan's painting from the gallery? I have an appointment at 10 after 2. It's a cleaning. I'd like to get to it. I don't know how much longer. I I'm sorry, this won't take, take long. Why did you steal the painting? If you're well, not me, there let me exactly say this. at let the me, time, let me, let me they'll take somebody else from Just the waiting room. Just let me say this, you regardless know, of your cleaning. I have a list of people. 
I should be there the and after two. In order to give Jonathan an opportunity take the to four bus really get some fantastic the exposure. And sometimes that's late. You know, I have to be there on time. everybody steals. I don't care what they say. You know, it's how much you steal, when you steal, and you know, what's behind all of it. Rambo. I did it. I stole it to be. give him some wonderful exposure on a universal basis. <sighs> so tired of listening to that chit chat. Your medication has got to take effect soon. Mm. I wanted to give the painting back. I felt that it was the right thing to do. I gave back his seashells. I thought that that was really correct. You know, you're not making sense. Get a guy sense. who's a detective. I'm trying, you know, if, if, Jimmy if, Dick. if I was There's to contact you again. Ladies, ladies, come on, it's getting late, you know, and I'm losing my mojo. We've got to go. <laughs> What's Jonathan going to say when he learns what you did? Actually, I don't care. Uh, when you have something like that waiting for you. That's enough.